Good morning and welcome to the Woodville News. It's a beautiful day here in the small town of Woodville, isn't it, Kit? Yeah, despite the very chilly weather, but we'll leave that up to our weatherman now. To you, Caleb. Thank you, Cameron. And now for our radar. Really seems like there's not going to be much today. Um, there's not very much precipitation. It's pretty sunny, but it's very chilly, so make sure you got a jacket. Now for our five-day forecast. As you can see, today it's sunny with a high of 50 degrees and a low of 30. There's 0% pre precipitation, wind 9 miles per hour, and the rest of the week it's looking pretty good until we get till Friday. It's going to be kind of cloudy, then Saturday and Sunday it's going to be rainy. But besides that, it's looking pretty good. Back to you, Cameron. Thank you, Kevin, for that weather report. Now, if there's one thing that Woodville has a lot of, it's athletes, so I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate this segment. Off to you, Easton. Thank you, Zach. Woodville basketball is 1-1 one one this week after Woodville swept the floor with Galeswood. With the JV's, uh, J AV boys score 24-17, varsity girls score was 33-24, to and the varsity boys was 66-31. to Woodville lost last night to Skyline with the JV boys score of 74-37, to the varsity girls score of 68-6, to and the varsity boys score of 91-60. to Now, to Brad with baseball. Batting practice began yesterday. They had the first baseball game is February 20th at Pesca, JV, Boys, and Varsity. And off to Damien with uh, fun Woodville Cups are $25. The college Cups are $20. They are due Monday. See a player or Coach Parsons. Now to Brett with sponsors and Josh. Coming soon, Big Burger Brand Weekly Podcast. And up to Josh for Gatorade sponsor. A special thanks to Gatorade for sponsoring this lovely news company. It keeps, it takes coaches beyond coaching, it keeps your athletes in the game, and overall it's just delicious. Back to you, Zach. Thank you, Easton. Now some upcoming information about some of the meetings you're going to see in February. For FFA, there will be a meeting February 1st, and February 20th, the state officer will be coming, and all of officers are informed to wear official dress. Also, if you're part of FFA, the FFA week is February 17th to 24th. And now to Cameron, the FCCLA meetings. On F, uh, February the 1st, there is an FCCLA meeting, and February the 15th, there is also an SGA meeting. Breaking news, Ty Pods can kill you kids. All right, here we are behind the scenes of Window News. We have Zach B. Robertson. We got Cam Tally. Cameron. We have our sponsor, Hi C. <laughs> There's Trinity. We have our four sportsmen back here getting ready for their sports segment. Our weatherman, Caleb. And the man who put it all together, Coach Bubba Smith. <laughs> 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 